The cleft lip and palate deformity is a common congenital anomaly covering the whole spectrum of deformity from a minor problem such as an incomplete unilateral cleft of the lip to a devastating deformity as in a child with a complete bilateral cleft of the lip and palate. Although clefts of the lip and palate are operated on an infancy, there can be long-term problems in terms of facial appearance, hearing defects, speech abnormalities and facial bone growth. Whilst hearing, speech and facial bone growth can be measured quantitatively, little success has been achieved in assessing facial appearance. We can gauge the length of a scar on the upper lip, we can calibrate the height of the lip vermilion on each side of the scar, and, to some extent, we can quantify the degree of nostril deformity. However, from the patient and society's points of view, these measurements have little meaning. Cleft lip and palate deformity is uh, one of the commonest head and neck abnormalities in human beings. It occurs in one, one in 600 children. In the common form of the deformity, there's a gap going through the lip, into the nose, through the gum, and along the whole length of the hard palate. Although in the vast majority of these children we don't know what causes it, um, there's some evidence now that uh, there's a deletion on one of the chromosomes, chromosome 22. Uh, and in, in these children it's very common to have a cleft palate.